was nothing better coming home, cracking a nice cider. I thought I'd have a chat with you guys on a Thursday night, wet as hell in Devon. Unbelievable. So yeah, cheers guys anyway. And uh, hey, just before I say cheers, thanks to all our new subscribers that have hit the button this week. Um, we've sort of gained a few, I don't know whereabouts, maybe from um, Slapton Sands, uh, down at the uh, Caravan Park. I know probably possibly one. So um, anyway, all them new subscribers. Guys, thank you very much for subscribing and cheers. Mm. Wicked. We've just put back our luxury carpet that we had made from fringes down in Plimpton and uh, we're super happy with it. Absolutely amazing. It's just making it start feel really homely again in this motorhome. I love, I love, actually love this time of year where you can um, close all the blinds down, get some ambience going and uh, yeah the whole motorhome is um, feeling proper it just changes from that sort of like summer mood to that winter feeling where you're feeling nice and warm, comfortable. Um, the next thing I'm going to be doing is uh, my seat covers. I've still got those summer seat covers on at the moment. The sheepskin ones will be going back on. And um, uh, yeah, and basically, oh, we got Bruno. Bruno is um, out on our table tonight. He's um, getting proper well trained. <laughs> our little memento from uh, Henley on Thames. He's loving it. Loving life, Mo Hotel Adventures, Bruno. Yeah, another thing I need to get sorted out is my Nespresso capsule stock is diminished to very minimal now. Yeah, there's one in there. Down to the last of the ice espressos from the summer. So I've got to get around to getting some more like winter style coffee capsules already for our winter trip. Yeah, I think I did mention on one of our previous videos that uh, at the Shepton Mallet Motorhome Show we ended up picking up some extra bit firmer cush, um, pillows um, for our sleeping accommodation here in Moto Mo Hotel Adventures and basically yeah these seem pretty pretty nice they're um, so we've used them last weekend and they're nice and firm and uh, yeah, happy with them. So uh, yeah, we ended up picking up a couple for a really good price. They're kind of like, like memory foamy, spring back all the time. So really happy with them. And uh, yeah, it's all about, it. we got the, underneath that, I'm just gonna show you guys that. We got the king size ones. So I think these are nearly like a meter wide. So under, underneath there. So they're uh, pretty nice. So they're all going pretty well. Yeah, our uh, policy is to get a really good night's sleep in the van, make it as luxurious as you possibly can. Yeah, so this week, I know uh, we showed this earlier in the week, our power box from Total Cool, Total Power. And uh, yeah, so I'm getting to grips with it a little bit now. I'm starting to uh, get things sorted out. And uh, yeah, as you can see, I've got a couple of things plugged in. So I'm just recharging my Bose speaker and I've got my um, Nikkor torch battery on charge from the machine. And uh, it's all looking pretty good. Yes, yeah, so good so far. Absolutely um, delighted with this thing. So this is gonna give us loads more like little power options, yeah. So he's ticking away there, just getting to, I'd say, just getting it sorted out. See what she can come up with, and uh, that's all cool. We got we got a little jolly coming up this weekend. We've got a little bit of a adventure going on, so uh, stay tuned this weekend. It'll probably be like Sunday night. We'll keep you uh, up to date of what we're up to. So it's going to be uh, a little bit of excitement. The weather doesn't look too promising, but so uh, we're not going to let that dampen our spirits. We're still going to um, blast it get out there and go for it. So uh, that's all good news. Uh, yeah, forthcoming trip as well, uh, as I've probably previously mentioned a couple of times, we're heading across into Europe. We're gonna back into Europe and we're excited. I'm so excited, I just can't wait. And uh, we're heading out to Eastern Germany. That's where we're heading. So it's gonna be um, pretty exhilarating hopefully. And uh, that's gonna be coming up in November late part of November so that I'm super excited about that one I'm super excited enough to get uh, get my board atlas book out today and have a look at that hang on I'll show you 
Yeah, so uh, this is the um, Board Atlas. So it gives you, and look at the date on that, it's 2013. So I haven't had a new one for uh, quite a while. And I was on their website today, Vicarus Books over at Folkestone. So do some um, incredible camper stock books. And I'm just deliberating whether to, I think I ought to really, I think I'm gonna uh, splash out. I think they're about, um, I'll, I'll tag in the picture because I've been on the website today and I took a couple of um, pictures of the, the um, deals they got going on for about 20 quid I think you can get an up-to-date one so uh, I think that's what I'm gonna do but this book is proper invaluable for us it was just um, well in there there's um, in this uh, edition you get 5,800 um, places for motor home parkings oh there's a memory oh my god Erding Wilmobile Park Erding down near Mewchin Oh, check out this place. Hang on, hang on. Let's get it. Oh, let's go open this up. A memory straight away. Oh my God! Look at this. Thurman. There's a big Thurman down at Erding, and they got an incredible Womo Park down there. Womobile Park, Camper Park, Erding Thurm. That's my bookmark. Oh, legendary. I need to transfer that if I get a new book. But yeah, in this book, it gives you all the the places all over Germany. Oh my. Hang on. There's another bit of. Uh, what did I spot then? Something else was spotted. It's amazing what I put in books. Let's just see if we can find that. Oh, what's that one? Uh, bulletin observations. Uh, what the hell is that? Don't know what that is. We won't worry about that. But yeah, so this is um, proper good old book board atlas. I'm gonna get to the front a minute. Let's get to the start of that. Plenty of advertising, plenty of stories. It's all in uh, plenty of um, dealerships. Here we go, here we go. So basically, all over Germany, the little spots with numbers, and then you can go on into the directory and uh, find the parkings. And in fact, there is one of the destinations that I'm hoping to get back to. We love Hamburg. So if you want to have some super excitement at the end of November, in the winter, we're heading out to Eastern Germany and uh, we're going to have some fun and rip around in our motorhome. And yeah, I love that ambience of getting out some Eastern European destinations in the winter time when it's dark and uh, in your motorhome where it's lovely and warm, cozy. So yeah, board out, let's chuck it, I'll chuck in some links to the Vicaras books, people, and um, yeah, they've got some good deals going on at the moment with manuals, they've got the latest uh, Axie book um, due to be delivered, I think in December, so we'll tag a picture of that in as well. Yeah, so I'm thinking I'm just going to wrap it up there, guys, tonight. It was just a, a midweek. I get a little bit bored, you know. I get, I get a little bit bored, Alice. But, uh, no, it's, it's just great. I'm so excited. We love our motorhome life and um, the trips we do. And, uh, yeah, we're super excited that we've got some stuff coming up again and we can get some bloody content out there again, you know what I mean? Instead of just uh, rummaging around. But, hey, you guys, you know the score. Take it easy. Cheers from Devon. Oh, just before we go, just before we go. Not, I was just about to walk out and I thought, oh my God, our mats from Sheps and Mallet. We've got, we picked up these mats from the uh, the mat guy who does all the shows. So keep an eye out for him if you're looking for uh, mats and stuff. I don't think he, I think I said, uh, you got a website and he's like, no, we just do the shows. So the guy at the motor room shows. So if you want some next year, keep an eye out at the uh, motor room shows. And this is a beautiful, went for this colour because it sort of matches in with our kind of carpet at the moment. And um, I always like to have that. So this is right on the entrance to the door. And uh, what I did, so it's quite a wide one. So I've just had to nick out a little bit there. So that lies flat and it just sort of tucks down around there. So right on the entrance, same that side. I've just, it was quite wide. So tucked it down there. It sits just under that vent. And these are these um, soak up all the rubbish mats. Um, and obviously when you walk in with like, wet feet or something, you've got to quickly jump in and uh, it just protects the um, carpet, the main carpet underneath. So yeah, we're happy with these ones. Yeah, I've got them and I'm actually standing on another one just outside of my bathroom now. We've got this one down at the moment. 
So uh, it's always a bonus when you uh, jump out of the shower and um, you can step out and we're not too bothered about it getting a bit damp and stuff. So uh, there we go. Check it out. Bye.